Capricorn. We have, there is no greater pleasure than seeing your, uh, your lived ones prosper. <laughs> I think it's supposed to say your loved ones. <laughs> Let me see, this is really funny. There is not, there is not greater pleasure, so it should be, there is no greater pleasure than seeing your loved ones prosper instead of lived ones prosper. So there, you might have to work on your grammar. <laughs> coming from an English teacher, okay? And obviously there's been some accomplishments having to do with your family that um, you're super, super happy in, okay? So huge pleasure in that, but uh, very poorly written. So let's see, this is for Capricorn. Thank you so much for uh, joining me. So spirit guides, there's something that you're closing out that uh, you have, uh, that your spirit guides have wanted you to close out or your spirit guides have uh, helped you in closing out. But with that, you're gonna find a new path. You're finding a new path of self-love and the path is very much um, given to you, okay? Or, or shown to you, all right? You're very divinely protected. I think that you're getting to be more uh, intuitive and you feel your spirit guides with you, all right? So let's see this duality. So there's a duality. Okay, this is also a balance coming in. I think you've worked through a lot of your shadow aspect, and um, and I think you're becoming much more balanced. I think you've had the dark night of the soul, and I think you've ascended spiritually. Moon, yeah, darkness. Yeah, what did I say? So dark night of the soul, I think you've also done some manifestations. Um, I think you've gone through really hard times, but I think that you're going to be much more stable, all right, in this uh, ascension that you've done. Warrior woman, have you answered your deepest calling? So there's some truth that's coming in, okay? This is also an endeavor that's coming in, and I think that you're going to pursue it. Okay, sorry. I'm like, there's some... Um I put it back because there was some energies that interfered because someone called me and so they 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 interfered. So let's hold on. Give me a minute. Hold on. I need to sage the area. Give me a minute or incense it. So um, so you probably need to incense your area. Okay. There's energies that are coming in that are not yours. So don't um. Don't get them mixed up, all right? Don't take them on as your own. Uh, hold on. Jesus. Alright, so you need to sage or incense, you need to cleanse your area where you work and where you live, okay? There's energies that are interfering with yours and so um, so I think that that's what's happening to you, alright? So, um, so be mindful and understand which are your energies and which ones are not. Okay, let's move on. A minute. Cleansing my. All right. All right. So you did some manifestations with the moon. All right. Birds of a feather flock together. Huge collaboration. You you are gonna find your soul tribe. There's some um, wishes coming true. Um, yeah, like a family group or a. A friend group that's going to be very significant in your life. 
Seahorse spirit, watch and wait, beautiful. This is also, seahorses are very interesting because it's the male that carries the babies to fruition, okay? So you're gonna get a lot of help possibly and somebody's help, help you, someone's gonna help you grow some sort of like endeavor or you might be pregnant and your partner, I feel it's your partner, I don't feel it's your husband, and your partner who is male, all right, or male uh, energy is really going to help you out. Panther spirit reclaiming your um, your power. So this has to do with stability, okay? So huge, huge stability. And then believe in yourself, squirrel spirit. And then we have temptation. I don't know, you're gonna get some sort of temptation and then mental conflict. Make sure that you're not in this energy of mental conflict because that's really gonna cloud uh, your vision and you're very intu you're intuitive right now and you've gained a lot of wisdom through this dark night of the soul, okay? I sort of don't even like those cards for you. I don't know that they're yours. All right, let's see. I think somebody else is thinking a lot about you and someone else is tempted by you. So be mindful of that because I feel that these energies are not yours and I feel that this is yours. So be mindful of that. They might be they might be wanting to reach out, okay? So lots of collaboration and then you have the the how is in the now. What is your intuition been trying to tell you? Yeah. So huge collaboration, uh, solar plex is opening up, sort of your crown chakra and your third eye, all right? Coming along, this is for Capricorn. And then you have mending, you're gonna be mending something, a relationship possibly, all right? So, okay, so this concludes your, um, This concludes your oracle reads. Let's do your um, your tarot. Okay, so huge tower moment and not a new beginning, okay? You were very intuitive and there was possibly maybe also um, something that you overcame with a lot of conflict, okay? That had to do with a relationship and breaking of a heart. This can also be a third party situation or this can also be like a secret that came out that was, um, that created a tower moment. You're not going back and forth anymore and you're no longer waiting on this relationship that hurt you tremendously. Uh, it's, it wasn't uh, loving and it was not stable in any way. You were expecting an apology. Possibly it didn't come and you're no longer waiting, okay? There might have been a third party situation. You thought you were very happy with this, but possibly you didn't. This person was in and out. They might be also like resting or you might be healing or they retracted or you did. You move forward, okay? There was some severance to this relationship. It might have been also like a divorce of some sort. Someone ghosted you or you ghosted this person. All right, there you are. There is some truth that came out having to do with the past, a past love or a past soulmate, having to do with possibly with an amorous situation or a partnership of some sort, all right? There was uh, information coming in and um, you're trying to get balance with it, within this. It was an ending, yeah. Might have been dealing with a, with a Scorpio as well or possibly another Taurus. Could be an air sign as well. There was some deceit, okay? And this uh, did not make you uh, independent at all. There was some communication coming in, possibly through social media, all right, that unstuck you. You you realized something or there was some truth that came out, all right? 
Yeah, huge judgment on this. This was fated and destined to happen. But you're going to have victory. Something was exposed and you were not happy about this. It was not balanced. All right. Something having to do possibly with a pregnancy uh, or your love for somebody. Or it could be children or a mother entity as well. It was very confusing and you were not happy. Or this was also lots of options. It was very toxic in the past. There was a lot of conflict. You had to stand your ground. All right, with this like endeavor or this commitment or the stability that you were waiting for an apology, but it never came. All right, you were up in your head about it. You were very anxious. This could have been also um, at a distance. All right, and this could have also ended. This was karma that played out. <clears throat> I sort of think also that you cleared out some karma. Yeah, you're not moving forward and there's no communication with this person. Might have been your husband or a spouse of some sort. It was a huge burden and um, you were like left out in the cold or there was some burdens um, or regret having to do with this. Uh, this was fate and, and destiny to have come out. There might have been children involved, okay? Someone released something because they were not happy in a family dynamic, okay? And it was very toxic. Yes, this had to do with a higher commitment and that left you uh, out in the cold or feeling depleted financially or emotionally. You surrender to this and you're trying to heal because it was not healing. It was also not a wish fulfillment at this point for you. There was not no equal give and take. There were money issues as well, okay? And um, someone's very regretful about this relationship, the way it turned out. Yeah. It was a huge betrayal, all right? You could see clearly, although you were blindsided initially, all right? And you were very anxious to this person is. You stopped having intimacy with this person. You're trying to manifest love, all right? And some sort of stability and ground yourself. Someone might be coming back. This person might be coming back, all right? Um... Yeah, what you don't see is like there might be fear about a uh, long-term commitment or some sort of inheritance or money of some sort. Uh, yeah, this person was very manipulative. Doesn't seem like they wanted to be committed. It was a no-win situation and you moved forward with the truth, okay? And you sped things up. And you knew that this was not work and that this was no collaboration and there was no love to this. Hope this helped Capricorn, uh, love and light.